Right farmers, we're back with a new map. So, this is Farmville Valley. This is by Gwendol, 95.17 megabyte on the download. And the introduction on the website is a little strange, to be fair. It says, small map with mountains and forests created live and within 24 hours. All right, I have no idea what they mean by that, but fair enough. So, what are we talking about from a slot count perspective? If you come on here on all three game modes, you're going to use 891 slots. That's because all the buildings are here and all the equipment is going to be the same. So if we go into that menu there, we've got under small tractors, we've got the Iseki TJV985. On the medium tractors, the Zetor Crystal HD170. On the trailers, the Class Carrot 140TD. On the Power Harrows, the Kuhn HR4040. On the Cedars, the Kuhn Venta 4030. On the Fertilizer Spreaders, the Breedle K105. On the weeders, the Einbock Pneumatic Star 900 are also going to do grass, oilseed, radish, and canola. Then we'll come down to mowers. We've got the Kuhn GMD 3123F front mower. On the balers, the Class Roland 455RC Uniwrap. So that's the baler and wrapper combo. And on the forestry equipment, the TMC Cancella TFK 200. On the front load is the Quickie Q4M. And then on the front loader tools, the Universal Bucket and the Manure Fork. That's not a bad set of starting equipment, I must admit. Now, there is going to be a couple of things that you will need to download as well. So this map requires the sawmill by Zolozoct, the biomass power plant by Vertex Design, the sawmills pack by Camillos0397, cow barmer pasture by Missy B, grain mill by Gamer HZSFSH, and a chicken barn large by Lost Gamer Virgamini Modding and Graniero. So just bear that in mind. It gives me the option to download it straight away. So it shouldn't really be that much of a problem. All right, we'll carry on. So this is your map. We zoom all the way out. It's fairly small, which is not bad at all. Now, obviously, this is, I'm going to say primarily forestry. We have got all these fields up here. But when you click on the actual map that you can buy stuff, and this is what you get. So you've got on New Farmer, we've got 34, 33, 32, 31 and one for some strange reason down there and also area 35 which gives you the outside of the map right fair enough now if you used to buy the outside of the map it's going to cost you 14 million yeah that's a lot of change i mean the start farm that's going to cost you 52 i mean that area there is going to cost you 52 again and then 32 is 49 grand and then area 31 is 21 grand now these two here have got production chains on them now you own them as you start off a new farmer. You don't own them on farm manager start from scratch. The buildings are there. You just need to purchase the land. Fair enough. So we're on the start farm. So first up, we've got a shed, garage, whatever you want to call it. Open up those doors like that. There's some stuff in there for you. A couple of tractors. Then we'll spin around and we've got a silo. Load in, load out at the front there. We then got another shed area times two. And we'll come back around here and we've got a chicken coop first off. And so you've got your loading in point for your food. You then got your animal dialogue box there. So it's going to hold 360 chickens. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the egg pallet spawn points in here. <laughs> oh, this is ace, this chicken coop. I do like that. You actually got to go into the actual shed. Mind you, it probably is going to stink a little bit once the chickens are in. But you got to go and pick up the eggs. Oh, that's a right, swap. We'll close it up. There's no chickens in there at the minute. So we'll close all that up like that. And we'll come around here. This is going to be your main house. So we'll come down this side like that. So inside the garage is going to be your wardrobe trigger. And then around the front is going to be your sleep trigger. Oh, fair enough. And we'll spin around. And on New Farmer, we own this cow barn up here as well. So we're going to go over the road a little. Watch out for traffic. Traffic don't seem to be that bad. Doesn't seem to be that fast on this map, so should be alright. So you've got your taking out point for your slurry. For coming here, you've got your loading in point for your food and your straw. Animal dialogue box is just over the fence like that. 80 cows going in. And then we'll spin around and there's your milk taking out point just there. Oh, I like that. So we'll come back out onto the main road. Obviously watching as we're going. Now, the first thing on the left-hand side, as you can probably see already, is your BGA. Now, you do own it on New Farmer. You can buy it. It's pretty cheap. Was it 50-odd grand on Farm Manager to start from scratch? 
you got a couple of bongo solos here, three of them to be precise. And then around here, you've got your usual facilities. So put an in point for your slurry, put an in point for your solid stuff, production chain menu just there. It's going to do your usual shenanigans, mind you. And then come around here, put your taken out point for your digestate. All fairly nice. We're going to come out and then go back over the road to the other production chain that you own on New Farmer. So we'll come down here, watch out for those cars. There they are, there's the gate. Open up those, we're over here. So you've got your loading in point just there. So this is your biomass power plant. There you are, click on that. So you put wood chips or straw in and it's going to make electricity. Obviously, it's going to sell it off for you. Just dump your stuff in and away you go. Oh, that's all right. Right then. We'll come back up to the map because we're going to move on. So we'll come back up to there like that. We're going to come down to this area down here. This is going to be your main drop-off facility area. So we're going to come down to this one first. Now the first one has got a icon for production chain. But that being said, if we click on 44, buy that 9 grand, it's a sell point. Even if we own the land, it's still a sell point. It's called feeding grain sell. It goes in there. All right, maybe it's just the wrong icon. Fair enough. Then we'll come over there and then we'll hop over this fence because next to it is going to be your animal dealer. So come down here, hit the dialogue box, obviously fill a trailer up if you wanted to. Then we'll come back out of there and we'll turn left down this road. Nice little village. I do like a map that's got a nice village. I must admit, afternoon. See you later. So down here is going to be your main shop. So you've got your vehicle workshop option just there by that spanner. you then got your main menu out in the car park. All right, fair enough. So we'll come back out of there. Nice big spawn area for your equipment. So we're going to come down this road and turn left. We're going to go through the village. Why not? Or it's a bit of a traffic jam. You're in the road, in, in the road, lad. You're holding up traffic. Get out of the way. You're just going to stand there. Alright, fair enough. Just an NPC holding up some traffic. Dear, oh dear. So come around here, we've got a sale point. So this is going to be San Giovanni Neapolitan Pizza. So this one, I imagine it's going to be called Restaurant or Pizzeria. Ah, Restaurant, there you are. Fair enough. We'll take this road up here. Next one is going to be a sale point on your left hand side. Looks like a farmer's market. We'll jump over there like that. Obviously, your sale point is just there for you. So it looks like farmer's market. And it is actually called Farmer's Market. <laughs> Fair enough. So we'll come back out. We're going to go up to the next production chain. Up on the left hand side here. To come down here. Looking for the gate mind you. That's being said. Where's the gate? Is it just to turn in? Is there a gate down here? Uh, I think I've lost the entrance. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Oh yeah, I've lost the entrance. I was just joking before. Now I've lost the entrance. All right, let's... <laughs> Shocking. Let's try and find the opening here. Is it going to give us the... No. Oh, there we are. Open gate. Oh, that gate blended into that fence. I must admit, I walked straight past it. So this is going to be a grain mill for you. So you've got your pallet spawn point just there. You've got your production chain menu just there. 60 grand. So we'll buy that. Anything new? Usual shenanigans on the go with that. Fair enough. And then obviously you've got your loading in point just there. And we'll spin back around out the gate that we did actually find eventually. We'll come over here. Because we've got a sale point and the production chain. It's going to be a sawmill. Oh, click on that. Yes. Okay, what have we got on here? Woods into planks. Fair enough. So you've got your taking out point for your wood chips. You've got your pallet spawn point just there. You then got your loading in point and your sellwood icon just there. Nice little sawmill. Fair enough. Now, can we get out this side? I've got to go all the way around, have I? We'll hop over that fence. There you are. We'll hop over that one. Oh, there we are. That's better. So, back into the village. We'll come around this side of the building. Around the back like that. Well, I suppose I could have just jumped, up, jumped over that fence there. But, all right. Fair enough. Your sell point just there for you. So, if we go back up to the map. And we'll see where this one is called. Supermarket. Just there. And we'll come back out and over the road. Got another sale point over here. So this is going to be, I'd imagine, Pizzeria. 
the other one was restaurant south point just there so that's over the road like that click on that one they are pizzeria fair enough sort of knew it really one's called pizzeria and the other one's called restaurant normally so <laughs> dear oh dear oh, i like that oh, i like this map yeah, nice little village got a bit of a water fountain on the go You've got random npc stopping traffic that's that's ace oh i do like it right so we go back into the map and onto the last area which is all the way down to here so this is what makes it a forestry predominantly map because this is a second sawmill <laughs> fair enough you've got your loading in point there sell your wood icon just there you've got your taking out wood chips pallet spawn point and then your production chain menu there so we'll click on that yes what can we do here wood planks wood into wood planks fair enough wow two sawmills on a map and loads of trees i must admit so we'll go into the flyover menu because obviously this really sort of gets the whole premise of the map you've got all these trees you've got mountainous areas you have got a bit of farming if you want to be getting on with that not a problem they come up here like that yeah get some of these trees chopped down do a bit of forestry get your logging on the go uh, oh very nice right so that's your map tour done for you drop in the comments below what you can be doing you can smash out some logging or do a bit of farming what about the animals we'll see what people are looking at if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's muchly appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one